Welcome back to my Call of Duty gaming channel. I am Nessonator! No, I'm just kidding. I am thinking about looking into possibly getting a intro made for my channel, though. If you guys know anybody, let me know down in the comment section below, or send me a DM or something like that on Twitter. And let me know if you guys know of anybody out there that would be willing to make me an intro. Uh, again, I'm willing to pay for it. So, you know, if you guys know anybody out there that's good at making that type of uh, thing here on YouTube, I'd like to know. Uh, I'm looking, looking, actively looking for one. So anyways, welcome to my Call of Duty gaming channel. I am Nessinator, and the gameplay that you guys are watching in the background, of course, is on the map Combine. I try to keep Combine maps here on my channel to a minimum. I mean, I have a lot of good gameplays on Combine. I think most people do. This is the map we're most accustomed to and most comfortable playing, a lot of us, as I pick up this Quad Fury kill right there with my CUDA. That's right. My CUDA's all diamond out. And yes, you can see by the gameplay here, I finally achieved Diamond SMGs. I also achieved Diamond ARs this last Prestige. So I have two classes of guns here diamond out. So you're going to be seeing some gameplay with this camo in the coming weeks. Now, people have been asking me whether or not am I going to go for Dark Matter. And uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. You know, I've always been one of those guys. I just play the game. You know, if it's something that's obtainable for me, you know, getting Diamond... SMGs and diamond assault rifles was not that tall of an order. I usually like using a bunch of different guns in this game when it comes to those two gun categories. I like all the ARs, I like all the SMGs, they're all viable. So it wasn't that big of a deal to go for diamond camo for these guns. I'll probably work on my LMGs next and then after that shotties. So of course when that time comes you guys can see some gameplay with me using shotguns and LMGs. But for the meantime, right now it's going to be a lot of AR and SMG gameplay because that's what I got recorded. And, uh, you know, Dark Matter, you have to get diamond everything. You have to get diamond pistols, diamond sniper rifles. Now the pistols, I may try. I don't know yet. Uh, I haven't really used any pistols in this game unless I pick them up. And the diamond sniper rifles will just probably be a pain in the ass. Because for those of you guys that do not know me, I'm not a big sniper guy uh, in Call of Duty. I'm not good at quick scoping. I mean, I could do the whole hard scoping, camping thing. Uh, but that doesn't really play to my play style, you know, it's just something that I'm not comfortable with. And that's the reason I've never really used sniper rifles. And if I try to run around with them, like I said, I'm not the best quick scoper. So I'll probably get eaten alive out there and I'll probably get frustrated. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put myself through that pain and anguish for Dark Matter. We'll see. If I get diamond everything and the only thing I'm short on is sniper rifles, then yeah, I'll probably put myself through it. And I'll let you guys know if that time comes or when I'm almost there but for right now I still gotta get diamond launchers I mean for as much as I use my launcher in this game and you guys know I'm a big advocate of having launcher class loadouts in this game you know I hear a lot of lone wolves out there complain about launchers and how they're OP and the score streaks need a buff but to be honest every single time that I play by myself man I put my launcher class on and I try to be the best support player I can for my teammates because more often than not, your teammates are awful. Your teammates are complete garbage. They're giving the enemy team score streak after score streak after score streak. And if you do not have a launcher class to take those score streaks down, I mean, you're dead in the water. You might as well rage quit. So for me personally, I always have a couple classes set up with my Black Cell Launcher or the XM53. And like I said, I use those things a lot, and I still don't have those diamond. I still have to do the camos where you have to do, I think, the 5 to 10 Talon Cerberus kills. And then you have to do the 5 to 10, I think, turret kills where you shoot a Guardian or a Sentry Gun or a Power Cell. And, I mean, to be honest, most of the times when I play with my friends, uh, nobody gets any score streaks on us like that. And I just really haven't put the focus in working on getting those diamond. But I may do that. And once I get all that done, then we'll see whether or not I'm going to go for Dark Matter. So stay tuned. I'll let you guys know. Uh, one quick thing I wanted to touch up on this commentary. Uh, speaking of launchers and everything, is the Ghost Perk. Now, I recently saw a video by T. Martin. I'll put that video's link down in the description below. where He gives some tips and tricks on Ghost. Because Ghost definitely works a lot different in this game than it did from its predecessor, Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, I think, had it right. It was pretty damn good. You know, it was always active as long as you were moving, moving somewhat. As long as you weren't sitting in the corner for three to five seconds, then you would pop up as a red dot. But in this game right here, there's very little leeway uh, with Ghost. I mean, you really have to be moving ahead, not at a full sprint, but pretty consistent movement straight ahead for you to stay off the enemy UAV. I mean, if you just stay still for a second, or if you stop at a head glitch or something like that, you're right on their UAV automatically. 
So, I don't know. I, I wasn't a big fan of this when I first saw it, but to be honest, it's the lesser of two evils. I'd rather have Ghost be a little bit broken in the sense that you're on the UAV more often with it still than it have you completely off the UAV, UAV I'm sorry, and people camping in rooms with it. And, you know, so I don't know. I, I, I don't think it's that bad, but I wish they did buff it a little bit. Because, to be honest, I mean, if you stop and you're just kind of aiming down sights, strafing a little bit, you shouldn't pop right back up on their UAV system on their minimap. But uh, that's how it works. So check out this video and tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below. I still rock Ghost, though. I still rock Ghost in a lot of my classes because a lot of the times, you know, I'm always moving forward. I'm trying to flank the enemy team, and I'm trying to be stealthy. So I'd rather be off the UAV when I'm moving forward than on it. That's just my personal opinion. So I do use Ghost quite a bit. There are those classes that I don't have it uh, equipped, you know, but for the most part, I try to stay as stealthy as possible. I might give you guys some of my favorite class loadouts here in some future videos, but this is going to be a very special day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that double video upload day I had about three days ago. You know, I try to stay consistent with my uploads here on the channel, but I have something special in store for you guys today. And today is going to be my first triple video upload. So I'm uploading three videos today, and all of them good ones, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And I may do that again in the next coming weeks, you know, just upload maybe two, three videos a day, take a couple days off, and then again drop you guys with another two, three videos. Let me know if you like that system or if you would prefer me just to have a video every day. You know, I just really don't know how you guys prefer to watch this content, but I'm thinking... You know, if I upload two, three videos in a day, then you guys can watch them, and then I'll see you guys again in a couple of days. But anyways, thanks for all your views, subscribes, and likes. This is Nestinator. I appreciate it all. Again, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are enjoying this. But thanks again, and I'm out.